Craft. My name's Dan, celebrating 21 years of your favourite. It's your favourite crafting channel. With a world launch from Stamps by Me. Hugely exciting about that. Lots of new tools on the way, never seen anywhere in the world before. A new paper kit, happy hours, tons on the show. When it comes to Stamps by Me, we talk all things Tony Derek. Tony, good afternoon. Welcome to birthday. Are you well? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Is it going well, everyone? Sorry I couldn't be there. Your choreography is excellent. Well done. Excellent, good stuff. Really pleased. <laughs> really, really pleased we, we rehearsed that bit. Um, uh, Tony, what's coming up on today's show? Because you're really treating this to a world launch. Well, most of you have actually seen this product because we did a little bit of a pre launch before we um, went away to the States. But this basically is a lovely kit that's going to get you going as a crafter if you are a beginner crafter. But equally, if you don't have sort of the, the arsenal items in your stash that enable you to be a better crafter, a quicker crafter, without mistakes, without errors and things like that. So we have the amazing kit and we also have a wonderful paper kit too to talk about as well. So I don't know where you want me to start, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it all throughout this show and then hopefully tonight we'll do some proper demos if there's anything left. Very cool idea. Right, Tony, I'll leave you to get ready and we'll, we'll make it up as we go along, kind of, as, as per we do. But I'm going to give you three item numbers on this show for all of the items that Tony, in a cool dancing, is going to show you in a sec. This is that world launch product that you spied a second ago, as she mentioned, your monthly mega deal. Three new tools you've never seen on Crate and Craft before from Stamps by Me. Uh, you have got the envelope and box tool for obviously all your different sizes of envelopes and also your different sizes of boxes and lids. The brush and pokey tool, the die multi-tool, you may would have seen Tony using this on all the shows and also on our own channels as well, absolutely. And the brand new score and cut tool as well, making not just all of your scoring needs and also your trimming needs uh, all in stock for you at once. If you want to get more blades, etc., nice and early in the same transaction, they are also on the show. I'll show you those in just a tick. But your item number here, and Tony will absolutely talk you through. Oh, yeah, good point. Do you want the blades? 8 99 in the club. Still free PMP. You get a scoring blade and a trimming, um, and a, yeah, trimming blade, that's what I meant to say. Uh, twin pack, 600085. 600085899. But let's bring the price, sorry, the uh, description back to those three. And you can get all three individually. So if you just want the die multi tool, you just want the envelope and box kit, you just want the scoring and cutting tool, you can do. But you're saving nearly £25. 60.29 for them all. Brand new today, free PMP. Divide the cost by two on Flexi. What's that? £30 and 15 pence. 269.645. But we mentioned, and Tony mentioned, there's a brand new paper kit as well. Peaceful moment. We've got all sorts in here for the 7x7 seven seven pad. You've got beautiful vellums, you've got toppers, you've got a stencil, you've got stamps, you've got dies. I'm going to show you. A couple of finished samples that, of course, Tony will go through in much more detail in this show, and then you'll be getting live demonstrations if I talk quick enough. I forgot to go to the happy hour. I'll do it in a second, team, uh, for you. But nevertheless, really beautiful designs. Look at the colour pack. Look at that dye. The flower. Absolutely divine, isn't it? Maybe you want to be making and selling. These sorts of quicker cards with the vellum making a difference, taking advantage of white space. Or if you love your heat embossing that we know Tony does and her team. Really, really pretty designs. I'm very impressed with that one. Maybe a bit of paper piecing. Don't forget you've got your mats and layers. This next card beautifully shows you the stencil that's included, but not forgetting with your vellums, your seven by seven pad, seven by seven pad, and your four by six toppers, this color palette is absolutely divine. I'm going to show you a couple more. You can see on the screen, you're saving nearly 20 pounds by being in the club, uh, 066372. Okay, four minutes of airtime, nearly 20% of the stock sold out. If you want more vellums, if you want more pads, you want more toppers, all the stock is loaded right now on this show pace. If you want to go for individuals, you absolutely can. 066372. And I mentioned the happy hour that I forgot to get earlier on. I know I'm going quick. I'm going to throw to Tony in just a second. Really, really pretty stamp set, this. All mine. Thank you, all mine. And then look at that way around, isn't it? You see the bouquet? Uh, I love the perspective you're seeing in here. She'll be carrying different bouquets. Maybe it's just a bouquet. Uh, there you go as well for all your different um, inks and mediums. For this show alone, 8 
99 that is a happy hour price just for this show better than 50% off 520798 okie dokie there's plenty more on the show get on the website crateandcraft.com this show page you can see everything Tony completely up to you whether you want to start on peaceful moments or start on your world launch toolkit talk us through both at your leisure Thank you so much. So with the toolkit, there's quite a lot that I want to cover and show you how simple they are. So what I'll do is I'll touch on the paper pack first. Let's go into some um, detail on what you actually get in the kit, because although that set has been set up beautifully, the samples are so good, you're actually missing what you're getting for your money. So I'm going to go through each product, show you what's in, and then we'll move on to the tools and show you how cool they are. All I will say is we've got a whole bunch of brand new tools in the show. We've got some stationery as well, all for birthday. So have a look at the rest of the items that are loaded on the website. So let's go through this kit cost. One, it's super affordable. Two, you know you're getting quality. And three, oh my goodness, what you can make with these is incredible simply because of the colour tone. Now you all know we do great paper collections here at Stamps By Me with complementing vellum, stamps and dies. This is no different. But this one has a lovely hue of yellow and green. So I've changed up that colour formation so you've got variation in your craft. So let's have a look. So first of all, we've got a seven by seven paper pad. Now you do have that traditional butterfly, which we see almost all of the time, but wait till I show you this collection and what you actually get inside. So seven by seven, 12 designs, 24 pages, 200 GSM. It's uncoated, so you can stamp onto it. You can um, sand it back, you can heat emboss beautifully onto it. It does carry a little bit of water as well. So let's keep going. Just You can fussy cut these butterflies if you wanted to. We always have like a breaker type um, card in here for you as well, colour, to um, break up those patterns. Look at this, absolutely incredible with that white underlay there as well. So next one, we have some great, very mood... As always, I say, Tony does fantastic moody papers. I think it comes from my personality. Although I'm not moody, <laughs> you know that, guys, right? I'm happy all the time, uh, right? Sure. <laughs> so here we go. Dan, I'm happy all the time, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't dare disagree. <laughs> you can put this in a frame. Look at this one. So if you've got your mat and layer dies, the new tools would cover this beautifully. And the new tools make boxes and envelopes as well. And I've got a ton to show you with these papers as well. So shop ahead. Here we go, look at this one, it actually looks like it's got a hue of smoke over there. I'll just keep going to some traditional dark green with script, and then we have some more of the flowers and butterflies. So that's just the paper set. What's next in the kit, you ask? Next we have non pants but today we've got toppers, which they're a little bit different. So we have open toppers, look at these, and these are going to come into fruition when you see the rest of the kit with the dyes, the floral dyes and things like that. So you have corner pieces, aperture frames in the gold effect. Just a little touch of detail. You all absolutely love these. You're all putting them through your embossing folders. Because you all just love them. And you know, when I started these painted mounts and toppers, I was like, I'm not sure, not sure how it's going to go. Now they are one of our best sellers here. Absolutely wonderful. So here we are. And then you have some of the... I think it's because of the simplicity and all you need is either a stamp or a die cut word and you have instant cards. So that is eight designs, 16 pages, 200 DSM on that one. Next we have, breathe, vellum. Mm -hmm. We are the best at vellum, let me show you. Oh, but I know that nobody cuts into them. I need to, I need to tone it down with the vellum because nobody uses it because it's too good. <laughs> so here we go. So this scores beautifully and you get, you can make envelopes with these too. So lots of green tones in these ones. We've done a lot of pink of late and lots of vibrant colours, so we've toned it down this time with these subtle greens. Big leaf designs on here. So these are great for belly bands, wraps on cards. Look at this one, totally beautiful. This one's really pretty as well. So you have a bunch of vellum as well. That's six designs, 12 pages, 115 GSM. And I'm telling you all the details because I feel like it's really important you know exactly what you're getting for your money. Then we have a stencil and sort of mask inlay here. You saw that from the wonderful sample that Dan showed you. This mask is adorable, fits beautifully onto a six by six card and above, but you could just use segments of it if you wanted to. Then we have a stamp. So you have an A6 stamp, which has got these cute butterflies on here. I won't say cute, they're very botanical-esque, so very vintage in formation. Then you've got three stamps um, that have sentiments on there. You are an amazing human. Yes, you are, Dan. Thank if you're you. still listening. 
I'm listening. <laughs> OK. You never fail until you stop trying. Stop crying? Be the one who decided to go for it. <laughs> so that's your stamp set. And then we have our incredible die set, which overlay the heads on top of the backgrounds. And you can build a beautiful floral bouquet if you want to, or just leave them as a silhouette in black cardstock, build them up in your own design. So very quick recap, we have the die, we have the stamp, we have the stencil, to see why this is going super quick. We have the vellum, we have the toppers, and we have the paper collection as well, all in there for that incredible price. Wow, Tony, 25% of the stock has gone. I know we're going to do the tools in just a second. Can I show you one or two other samples too? Because of course in your card crafting, taking advantage of all your mixed media elements, that's what you wish to do. But actually, smaller bits, if you want to make and sell, you absolutely can do, like these uh, beautiful little bookmarks and things, or tags, or your ATCs, etc. cetera, nicely done, team. If you want to fussy cut out, you can then spy from that paper pad. Imagine vellum being over the top of there, but it is layered up. But then, for your beautiful, I almost want to open it up, but you know what, here we are, so why not? Beautiful, almost like an envelope piece with this. How divine, oh, here we go, are all of these ready for your own photographs, for your memory books, for your journaling pieces, all of these tags to document uh, where you've been and why you've gone there. going to shut that down, because again, if you want to be making and selling this one by Sarah, the box itself is lovely. You saw some of the backing papers uh, that were in there too. And then on the inside, a whole host of just the most beautiful cards for you to create. Okay, friends, 25% of that brand new paper pad has gone and all but one or two of the individual elements have sold out completely already. So 066372. Tony, love all of those. It's wonderful, we've got like a double launch, huge launch for us here on birthday. But then we've got the tools as well. Do you want to talk through the tools? I always have to give you two things now, Dan, because one always sells out and then I get in super trouble. So I always give two <laughs> yep. now as a backup. So you have two items which are sort of the deals for today for celebration of 21st birthday for Create and Craft. Just a shout out there to Sarah, our guest design team member who's made those beautiful items. Thank you, Sarah. She turned them round so quick along with my design team and they've uh, been able to get them to you today for today's show. So big shout out. Your samples are absolutely amazing as always, design team. Thank you so much. So, tools. We do tools, right? Everybody knows that Stamps by Me do great tools. We do a five-inch die-cutting machine. We do the Mini. We do the Eureka. And this is where our brand is going. We're going to enable you, as a crafter at home, to create projects quick, uh, effective, no measuring. Come on, no measuring. No waste when we're creating our projects at home. And these are no different. So when I found these tools, I was like, I need them in my stash, me personally. So I know that all the crafters at home are going to need them too. So let me just show you what you get in the kit, because value-wise, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, first of all, let's talk about this. I'm going to hold this up, actually, because it's too big for my mat. OK. So this is a scoreboard and a cutter in one. You're probably thinking, well, I've already got a cutter. Yeah, you already might have a cutter. And I've already got a big scoreboard somewhere else in house. And I've already got one that measures in centimetres, and I've got one that measures in inches, and I've got one that measures in little millimetre increments. Have you got everything on one, though? Good point. Where you haven't got a faff, haven't got a look. Um, and these are so affordable that I feel like having your, the combination in one is really going to make you a quicker and a smarter crafter, OK? So across the top here, you can see you have all of these inches, and they are marked. They're not a guess. So you don't get your one-inch increments, and then the increments in between are not marked up. Now, if you struggle with, like, four and two-eighths and three-eighths and things like that, which a lot of crafters do, I hear it time and time again, look at every single line on here. Every single line is marked with a size. So if somebody says to you, your card blank needs to be two and a third or two and a quarter or something like that, every single mark is on here. All you need to do is go and find it. You haven't got to figure it out because how many times have we had to figure it out and made a hash of our projects. I do it all the time, and I am quite good at maths. So I know if I struggle, then I know that other people who are not great at maths are going to struggle too. So just having this across the top here is a game changer for me already. Then I'm just going to turn it around here. Then you also have here is your sentiment. So we haven't overwhelmed 
with the increments all on one side. You have them on both as well, okay? And to have all of those little tiny increments too is brilliant for your scrapbooking, your mini albums as well. So just to have the capability to get measurements like this in one tool is brilliant for me. And when I found these tools, I was like, I need, I absolutely need. And what a brucey bonus to have a cutter on the side as well. So you haven't got to then get your guillotine out as well. If you're cutting and scoring, you have it all built into one. And the value for all three of these, it, this is like 40 pounds on its own, I believe. I believe the envelope board is the same on its own as well. So because it's creating crafts birthday, you're getting a really, really good deal today. So make the most of it. And when I show you how quick I make a box for Christmas or how quick I do an envelope with these items, you're going to be like, I need it. Absolutely need it if you haven't got one already. So that's your board, your big board. And it hasn't left my station since the day it arrived when I've been playing with it either. It's stayed there every time. And if you have our other scoreboards and our other cutters, the blades that go in those, go in this one and you can top up at oh, any time lovely. they're available on Creating Crafts website. So next, game changer. I Here love we this. Go. I absolutely love this. Now you've probably seen some of them some tools like this before, very, very similar, not much difference in them. The only difference is possibly the sizes and increments of the things that you can create. It has the extended arm on here. The thing for me is this, it doesn't move, guys. It doesn't move. These are the small things that make me happy. When you've got a tool that has to be put on top of a mat because it's sliding all over, it's like no thought's gone into actually the crafting of it. If you're having to chase your tool around the table, no thought's actually gone into the feet. And that, that's very disappointing for me. So to have it on your tool, on your station, where it doesn't move, I don't have to find something for it to stay still on, is brilliant. So this makes boxes and envelopes, OK? It has two corner punches as well, built into the system as well. I didn't um, mention earlier, but your score tool, your big um, scoreboard comes with a tool, score tool as well, so you haven't got a source of score tool. And this also comes with another one as well. So if you get it, you're going to get two. It has the extending arm, as you can see, because we're going to use in 12 by 12. There is no sort of like rules on paper wise. We can use it goes right up to a 12 by 12. And now you're going to be able to create things that look like this. Oh, wow. No, no glue, Dan. No glue. No glue whatsoever. It's just made from this tool with um, paper. What about Christmas envelopes? Oh, love I didn't. Them. Absolutely amazing. Now look at this one though, Dan, for the size. Uh -huh. Sweet treats, birthdays, gifts, weddings, anything you want to. What about a pair of socks for Christmas, a tie, anything you want to. So many different sizes that you can make, guys. These boxes need no glue at all and you've got different increments in depth. So if you want a four inch box, a three inch box, a one and a half inch box, it's all built into this tool and I'm going to show you. And as soon as you see how quick and easy I do it, you're going to be like, I've been saying all day today, um, I'm taking this home. I'm going to make my <laughs> Christmas boxes on couch at home. I've not got any time, any other place, but I'm going to take this board home and do all my envelopes at home. I can use it all for so making, making and selling, right, Tony? So I can make and sell with all of these if I want to. Absolutely. And what I would probably say, Dan, is do all the scoring on them, punch them, because you don't need a set of scissors. I mean, how crazy is that? You do not need a set of scissors. Um, and then when they're just flat, like, say, for instance, this, because they're all scored and ready, pop them in a packet, and whoever buys them can fold and seal them whenever they're ready. Good point. So if you did, like, a whole set of pink ones, grey ones, black ones, green ones, you could absolutely go for it. And what I've done is, um, just before coming to A's, I've just done some from the new paper collection just to show you how beautiful they are. So... Uh, I'm limited on what size I can do with this paper collection because the papers are 7 by 7 but if you have papers that go right up to 12 by 12 you're going to be able to make the envelopes as big as this as well and you can make square, rectangle or slimline as well. So let me just show you these ones here. Super easy. A lovely corner finish on them as well so you can round those corners. Absolutely beautiful. Game, game changer. I'm running out of puff here. So one more thing. <laughs> yeah, go on, keep going. You're doing well. Thing. There's more tools. Keep going. It, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. Um, so you also get your wonderful uh, retractable pokey tool and die cut cleaner. Okay, so this is for the moment of a die cut. And all of those 
pieces are still in the die cut. You just run this over and it pops them all out. You've probably seen something like this before. But on this end, you have a pokey tool. And all you do is you just pop this down and out pokes the little pokey tool on the back here, as you can see. So you now have a pokey tool to pick your gems up or move them around the table or push the uh, intricate, intricate details back out. It also has a retractable button here, which means it goes back in perfectly as well. But what I like to use this one for, Dan, is if I've got my, my die cut plates like this one here and it's covered in cardstock and paper, like the die cuts stay oh, yeah. onto the sheet, I like to just clean my um, plates with it as well. It just knocks them all off because normally you're doing it with your nails or you're getting a pokey tool. There is a pokey tool on here, but they're really hard, these bristles. Um, so you can actually get into all that detail and remove yeah, yeah. all of those elements. So although it looks boring, it is pretty boring. It's pretty ugly as well. It serves <laughs> a purpose in your craft stash. <laughs> they are ugly though, aren't they? But, you know, they do work. This is why we need tools that actually work. So I'll throw back to you for a second, Dan, and then if you want to come back, I'll show you how to make some cool stuff. Absolutely. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> little ugly thing. Goodness me, they're really, Tony makes them as pretty as possible, doesn't she? So to recap then, you've got the envelope and box tool, you've got the brush and poker tool, and you've got the score and cut tool. You can get more blades for this, by the way. Let me quickly, quickly remind you. And by trimming blades and for scoring blades, a twin pack. If you want to get hold of those, they are £10. A cutting blade and a scoring blade, you get both in there too. So times two for eight ninety nine. Every single basket, nearly checking out your basket on the whole thing, is adding these in whilst it's free PMP. You can still divide it by two on Flexi, 600085. You can get the three individually if you wish, but getting them together, that's when you save nearly 25 pounds off. So I want everybody checking out your baskets there. These foldable mats, by the way, now here's the thing, right? So I did a show with Tony a couple of weeks ago before she went to America and she was using the multi-tool and I was like, I've never seen that tool before. And she was like, yep, I'm saving it for birthday because I know we can get more money off and free PMP. This is the sort of thing uh, where even if it's not in stock, Tony uses every single day. Helen Kirkham uses every single day. Laura Williams uses every single day. Sarah Grant, you know what I'm saying. They are really, really cool. And you get both of them. What are they? There is that fold outable. Fold outable, is that even a nice word? <clears throat> Your mats. They are silicon, I believe, or rubber. Uh, and you can see here, they are then non-slip. So when you're putting things, like you said, Tony was saying about things moving around, maybe it's your ink pads, for example, on there, and you're brushing onto your ink pads, uh, your blending tools, that kind of thing. Absolutely perfect for that. Dare I say, I think they're probably heat resistant as well. Uh, so if you want to be putting like uh, hotter elements on here, maybe it's, uh, uh, um, for example, heat tools, etc. perfect for that. You get both, are they limited stock? No, it's not. Okay, cool, cool. Phew, it's all right. It's not at the moment. Uh, 12 59 in the club, and you do get both of them. And then when you're folding them back down, very clever, don't know if you can spy, the actual, like, rivets, teeth, channels, they fold into each other, making it fold absolutely flat, which is just the cleverest thing. So if you want to get hold of the grey and the pink, is it a giftable? Is it to yourself? Uh, maybe you do clubs and things. Uh, there you go, 694810. Very quickly, the happy hour, just to recap for this show alone, 50% off, better than if you're in the club. Uh, it's called the All Mine and your thank yous as well. You've got the lady here, which is absolutely beautiful. There she is, carrying a big bouquet of flowers for a congratulation, for a thank you for Mother's Day, for a get well soon. But then you've also got the bouquets. One is there and one is there. Let me spin that one around so you can see. I love the paper design. Imagine stamping that and then cutting it out, fussy cutting it with your patterned papers and things. Really, really pretty designs. For this show alone, the next 27 minutes, 8.99 rather than 20. Half the stock here has sold out. 50% gone. 520 798. There's tons more on the show, even more tooling as well. So on the website, on the show page, uh, look for 3 p.m. This is the launch. So all the extra stock of the blades, the mats, every single one of the tools, the Peaceful Moments paper kit, this is your show to pop it in your basket and to press checkout. But Tony has got loads of demonstrations planned for you, whether you're going to make a box, Make an envelope, make a card, home decor project. Tony, what are you going to do? What are you up to? I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all. It's birthday it all. night. I've got to do it all. So I just quickly touch on those mats for you there, Dan, if that's OK, because you covered it really, really well. I just want to show you the big ink pads, though, because this is a really, really good, um, oh, yeah, yeah, again, yeah. another piece of kit that you um, 
probably can't live without. And it's the bane of my life when things move around the table and don't stay put. And our ink pads don't have foam feet or anything or a sticky foot or anything to stay in place. We launched these about 12, 13 months ago, and this is the first time they've been back for birthday. So like Dan says, you get two. But the beauty of these is when you, if I was to do this here on top of my mat here, you cannot get the ink from here. And you see lots of tools now where people are holding them in place with like little cases and things like that. But this is more than that. This is like a multi-tool. So you pop it on here like so, and it doesn't move. It doesn't, if you, you try and ink your thing up, it absolutely does not move, giving me the capability to stencil without chasing an ink pad into the kitchen. The other thing that's brilliant about it as well is it has all of the rivets. So if you have your small blending brushes of ours, they don't roll off because they sit in the recess. A paintbrush, they all sit within the recess as well. If you pop it on here, it roll. I mean, it's just leaving the table right now. Look at that. Ah. But if I pop it on here, it's going to stay put. I can pop all of my bits and pieces on there. It's not going to go anywhere. It is heat resistant, you're right, Dan. So that means you can put hot things on it. You could put your cup of coffee on it. If you... Fold it up as well. I use it for my water mat. So if I have a cup of water and I'm painting or a cup of tea like so, because it's heat resistant, you can put your cup of tea on it as well, set it aside and not worry about it. Don't look at my herb tea oh, there. That's quite that's boring. Um, but yeah, so you can pop <laughs> anything hot on it. If you're... <laughs> so it's just a lovely piece of kit that folds away, goes away. I have mine out all the time, as you know, look at the state. But it also has the circle hole in there as well where you can hang it if you want to, and you get pink and grey. So you've got one for you and one for your mate. That is so, now limited so stock, Tony. It wasn't before, but it is now. So, yeah, <laughs> 694810. I like it's one for you, one for your mate, or let's face it, both for you, right? You keep them both for yourself. It's gone. Well, everybody, both of them have now sold out. So thank you for checking out your baskets. Check out as many times as you want. Free PMP. And haven't mentioned this, by the way, Dream Day. After all, every single time you purchase each day, we are drawing Dream Day winners to come visit us here at the studio. Have a tour around. Come into the studio. Be part of a live show if you wish. Meet everyone who's in here. See the buyers, the green room, everything like that. It's like a Dream Day every day for us. And you can join along too. Tony, continue on. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, dream day every day. I bet you all can't wait to go in the green room and see the rotten bananas. <laughs> How very dare you? He has a name, he's called Charlie. <laughs> I'm only joking. That would be a wonderful experience. He actually just did that in the States, Dan, and we met loads of customers who oh, were did. allowed to go into the building. So I know how they felt. The customers from Create and Craft are going to feel exactly the same when they come and meet you all and say hi. So... I'm going to touch on this envelope board, OK? Now, you're probably thinking, right, OK, Tony, it is probably is simple, but I'm not great with measurements, and I keep covering this because it's the bane of my life. When I do card classes and things like that, I always keep it to a solid inch or a solid inch and a half because people generally know that. But anything in between, it begins to become complicated. So what we've done here is in each one, you get full instructions, OK? And I've done videos on this as well for you. We're going to load them on for you for the QR codes, as always. But we have a box instruction and an envelope instruction. They are both printed on here in black as well, and I've put them on in black so you can see them, because if you go in blind like me, I wanted to put them on in a pretty pink. It, I just couldn't see it, and I thought, well, if I can't see it, and I'm, like, only my age, what are our lovely ladies that are a little bit older going to be like? So I've done it in black so you can see it. So even if you lose this sheet, you still have it on here, OK? Super, super easy. Are you ready to see how easy it is? So let's do a box. I, I'm excited about the box because we don't need any glue and boxes get in a bit of a pickle with glue. It goes everywhere, doesn't it? It gets a, miss, a mess. So... When you look at the board, I think it's real. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I can't even see it myself, and I'm only an inch away from it. But basically, you have your directions for your box and your directions for your envelopes. Super easy, OK? You just look at the card size you want to make, which is on the left, and it says above, card size. And then it just tells you what paper size you need to do an envelope for this card. And then it just says one thing, score line. And it just says there, two. Super easy. So I'm going to go right... So that's your envelopes, and here is your box. Again, you can make all of these sizes, box size, look at the size you want, and then skip on one, paper size, start line, diagonal line. Four okay. things, super easy, two of which you just have to grab. So let's do this four by four by four box. So it says to me here, 12 by 12 piece of card. Okay. 
can do it's that. 12 by 12 piece of card, look, super easy, nothing fancy. And then it says, start on the Excel line. So put your card into this line here. And I can see here we have Excel, large, medium, small, okay? Nothing complicated. So start on your Excel line. Where's my tool? The actual hardest part is actually just, um, you know, pulling it up and folding on all of the score lines. That's <laughs> the, I mean, if somebody could do that for me, I'd be really happy. I would buy it, absolutely buy it. So 12 by 12, Excel start line, and then it says diagonal line, Excel as well. Okay, so let's pop it in on the Excel line. So all we're going to do is we're going to score. Let me just, I know I keep flipping because I want you to really understand how simple it is. It's just, I'm just going to bring this box in here just to show you. Because it really is self-explanatory. I do hold your hand and I've tried to cover as much detail as possible because I know people are off put by buying tools because of the measurements and things like that. It couldn't be more easier, okay? So it just says here, and it's just got a little example for you, and you follow the stages one by one by one. So it says, number two, align left edge of paper to start line. So it says, small, medium, large, or Excel, according to your chart. So this is my 12 by 12 piece of paper, and it's telling me to start at Excel. So let's do it. I'm going to go through the process exactly as you would on here, okay? Next one. Punch the paper by pressing firmly on the punch. Super easy, yes. Yeah? Satisfying. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> so score on the lines A, B, and C. Super easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow. Oops, a daisy. Score down. Let me just move this out of the way. Score across. All the way. And as you can look how easy it's scoring. Super easy. And then here, there's a little word here that says diagonal look. And it says on my sheet, sorry, let's just have a look under here. It says diagonal line score on Excel. Here's the look, here's the little Excel. So far, so good, right? Yep. Turn 90 degrees. Pop it back in. Excel line again. Repeat the process. I like that little extender that? arm that's underneath there, by the way, Tony, that little pink arm that comes oh, out. Oh, it's so smooth, Dan. Yeah. It's so smooth. When I was trialling this and I was sent a sample, I'm like, this is quite good. Punch again. And it says on my Excel, turn again. Back to my Excel. Score down. This, this is, it's so good. It feels and like you're doing like with the step instructions Excel. for a dance. I feel like it's like slide to the left, <laughs> Excel line. Yeah, and punch. Punch right here. And then go around 90 degrees. So when you do the four sides, so Excel again. These little um, rivets here, that's where you pop your tool and just follow the line and your, your tool just sort of like falls into the line. Okay, so all the oh, all the way oh. across here. <laughs> yeah, as easy as that, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> love it. And love then it. XL. Slide to the right. <laughs> Make sure you punch. So then I've got all these sides here, and you're thinking, all right, that's four of my sides. What about there is obviously you need to do eight. So my sheet here says, flip over your paper and repeat. How easy is that? So let's flip it over. So oh, pop yeah. it in. Go to Excel, and all I need to do now is punch. All the places where I need to punch, can you see the little triangle here? Is it showing? Yep. I just need to take those out, so pop it back in at Excel. Excel. Just do what the sheet says. Don't deviate, Excel. Slide to the left. There you go. And there we go. Look, look at that. Everybody Super easy, guys. So how are we <laughs> going to seal this shut without any glue? How are you going to do it? We won't be able to do it by clapping. <laughs> won't be able to do it by clapping our hands. All right, all right. <laughs> so there's a punch system here, look. So there is a corner for your envelope, and then there's this little brucey bonus here, which is wonderful. So all you do is you get the corner of your paper, you push it in and punch. And look what it puts in it. Oh, okay. okay. And then swap it round to your next one. Punch. Punch. 
punch. And that is your hard work done. And trust me, when you've done two or three, four sides, turned it over, put your corners in, boom, you'll be on your way. Super, super easy. I only made, when I um, started this down and I got the sample, uh, I read the instructions, and I think I only made a mistake twice. And I'm not great when it comes to sort of technic technicality when it comes to these sorts of boards. I've always been off put by them in the past. But now I've got something that's super easy. I'm absolutely flying with it. And I say, I think I did two, two mistakes now. I mean, I was a little bit nervous about doing this on air because it is like I should really know what I'm doing. But it is something brand new to me that cuts the hard work and times of making boxes where they don't mix and they don't match. We do have our um, scoreboard in our Eureka as well. Mm -hmm. But the board on the back, it was limiting because of the size of it, an 8 by 8 board. So I was getting lots of customers going, how does it make more than just these handful of sizes? Well, we could only get those sizes on. So being able to have these tools now to extend your craft is wonderful. And they're super affordable. Because let me tell you, envelope boards are expensive. So let's, have a, let's, let's get this made super quick. So let's score it all. I feel like all I'm doing is talking today. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, that's all right. That's what, that's what you're here for, Tony. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure you give all your score lines a really good crease all the way left, right. It just helps out when you come to bring it together. And then these pieces here, watch what happens. Oh, satisfying. Did you see that there? Yeah, yeah. S yeah, so no glue. So you're just pinching your sides. I pinched in my sides and I just give them a little bit of a nice score like that. And I do it on all four. And then you get, look at the neat corner you're going to get when it all comes together. So just give it a nice score. So satisfying knowing that I haven't got to work out two fifths of nine and a half inch and four, oh, four quarters of Especially X, if you're making, making more then, than one. Absolutely. So I'm thinking when I was putting this together, exploding boxes, one inside the oh, other, yeah. because they all just, it sort of explodes. So all you do then is you bring it up and you've got your two little hooks here. So I'm just going to hook that together like so. Be patient with it. Hook it together in the centre like so. And then turn it around and then bring your other side up. And then just see this little hook at the top here. Take your little hook. And just imagine big bows, embellishment. I mean, come on. Now we can clap, Tony. Cha 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 cha. Happy birthday. <laughs> How cool oh. is that, though? No glue. I mean, it took me a little bit longer because I'm trying to explain the process. But this is a full 4x4 four four cube, so think about giftables. But you can downsize to 1.75 deep boxes. You can see here I've got that one there. Right to your little Ferrero Rocher if you want to oh, for your Christmas as well. There's so, so many different sizes that you can make. Honestly, I can't tell you. And how much paper have you all got in your stash at home? 12x12 12 12 papers that you've bought and not done anything with. So I'm going to do an envelope next, but I'm going to throw to you, Dan, yeah, when yeah, I get ready. So give me a second to get ready. Go on then, no problem, Tony. Thank you so, so much. How exciting are all of these? As Tony mentions, no measuring had to be done. There's no gluing either with all of these. It's making life a lot, lot easier. Uh, Sue has also emailed in during that demonstration saying, amazing, I've been looking for ages for a school and cut tool as I'm tired of scoring, then reaching for my paper trimmer and having no room on my four inches of spare desk space for both. Absolutely genius. So I've ordered the set plus the fold up mats. I know they're now sold out. Uh, well done. Uh, to keep my ink pad still. That is thanks uh, to Tony. That is from Sue. Sue, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Hope you're a club member to save even more. Maybe you divided the cost by two on Flexi. You definitely got free P and P for all of those. Uh, envelope box tool, the brush and pokey tool, and that scoring and cutting tool as well for 60.29, all while stocks last. Divide it by two if you want to. So is it three? Sorry, I was saying 20, sorry, 30 pounds and 15 pence. 20 pounds and... That means everything else on the show can be divided by three if we want to. If we want to. Your item number here is 269645. That makes your happy hour three pounds on FlexiPay if you're choosing to get... Can I quickly give that item number as we're here? Oh, and the spare blades then, because I'm thinking of dividing everything by three. Okay, sorry team. 
Happy hour. Oh, it is exciting, isn't it? Happy hour is approaching 90% of the stock gone. If you want to part with three pounds today, you'd be in the club. That's on Flexi, 520798. Three pounds this month, next month, next month, but it's delivered to your door ASAP. Right, I'm swapping that out for this. Same price, three pounds. Now you're saving nearly 25. So for three of those pounds, maybe you're looking at it thinking, well, actually, I wasn't in the club before, or you know, whatever. I was a Crate and Craft Club member, so I got the discount, but I was Cat P&P. That Cat P&P, outside of birthday, is 3.95. You're saving 3.95 because of free P&P. Maybe three pounds of that this month goes to this twin pack for you. That's on Flexi again. Total price nine pounds six zero 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 eight five. Oh, I like that. Producer Kate was just like a peaceful moment next. I'm sure a lot of you will love that. It's over here. It is a beautiful paper pack. It's called Peaceful Moments. You've got two paper packs in here, one seven by seven. Then you've got the toppers four by six. I'm counting that. The beautiful vellums uh, that Tony showed you as well. And then you've got your stencil of which, hang on team, because there's a, some beautiful stencil samples I want to quickly, quickly grab for you. Here it is. Can you just see it in the background? So there's a stencil down there. I hope you can just see it. Stencil's just here. Can you see it in the background with the ink, uh, the ink going over the top? Or maybe even more pronounced, how pretty is that? This card also beautifully shows you the dies that are also included, which are super pretty. And that there is one of the toppers from the topper pad that started life like that. So you're getting the idea of what's in here. And then you've also then got your dies, which create cards like this, or silhouette cards like this. Or I was about to say white on white. I think maybe it's more cream on cream, uh, like you can see there. How pretty are these floral elements? Or like this. Or, stay with me, friends. There's a plan forming. Using black car stock with a bit of gossip gold, I imagine. Or like that. You can do whatever you wish to do. But not forgetting that all of those beautiful paper pads, creating the boxes, the tags, uh, the fold-out elements there, the bookmarks, uh, whatever you'd rather do. $44.99, your total price saving nearly £19 off at 066372. You saw the punch system over there. If you want some traditional big punches, you are in luck. You've got one, two, three different punches here for you. Full metal punches. I hope you can just... Full metal workings uh, right there for you, 22, uh, 47. You've got the three different designs, one, two, and three. And for club members... Half price, 937872. Lovely alternatives for the edges of cards, of course, into your card stock, little inlets. Maybe it's going to be little tabs hanging out for like your memory books and uh, elements going inside. Or maybe it's also the corner of your uh, other envelopes, other boxes, if you'd rather. Uh, better than 50% off for this show, uh, 937872. And then, and I bet Tony talks about this in a later show, after all, when things, uh, we've got more time when maybe it's sell out and things. Neat and tidy embellishment storage. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe it's going to be all those different metal brads and things that you've got at home. It's such a clever system for all of these. How pretty of all these drawers? Can you see in here? All these little drawers in here. Now it could be full of, maybe you do crystal art. Uh, for example, maybe your mini die cut pieces. Uh, maybe it's something else. Do you do beading? Are you doing jewelry making? All of those, I mean, how many are in there? Tony will know. 78, 78 individual compartments for your beads, your sequins, and other small embellishments for 33, 29. You could be popping your glitters in here, whatever, your, 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 your pins, maybe your feet for your sewing machine, whatever it is. Uh, 750920, well done everybody. And then finally, this is a real treat. Back in stock, I remember it uh, launching and selling out the Luxury Pen in Pink. If you love Stamps by Me or you love bespoke pens, uh, maybe you're a businesswoman or man, uh, whatever you'd rather, uh, but I think it's really, really pretty to have you with you in the office, working from home, uh, just at home. A real homage to, I love the gold and pink, beautiful colorway, isn't it? That's another three pounds this month on Flexi with the big collection or on its own, 899, 7106. Four, five. Okay, glancing at the clock there, we're well over halfway through the show. In fact, only 13 minutes left. Not forgetting to press checkout. If you're not a club member, a Crate and Craft member, 
or you're a Freedom member, free P and P. I know Freedom members, you're thinking, well, I was already a Freedom member. I normally get free P and P. We are reimbursing you £10 for this month because that was the cost as such. 710645 for the pen. Tony, can we have a look at the storage, please? There's so many ideas to fit in here. So this is mine, Dan. Oh, bit, full of stuff. It's a bit messy, but you need to appreciate it's a workhorse and, again, another tool for your stash to look after whatever you purchase from myself, from other lovely brands. So mine's full of sequins and gems, as you can see. Uh, they were in colour formation, but they ended up like this mess because what I do is if I'm coming to TV or I'm going to teach or anything like that, I take out the colour I need, I pop it in my bag and then it gets put back in. But it has a box system on the side. So I'm thinking like crystal art, like you said, from the love of Sarah Millsop, to fill them with your extras if you want to. You can put beads, you can put buttons. It doesn't even have to be craft. It can be absolutely anything you want it to be. But it has the um, snack technology on the side. Then when you take it off here, the, it, the cool thing about it is it opens from the side as well. So check this out. So you have easy access. You can tip them out. You have a thumb finger area to get them out of the box as well. So you can see here. Absolutely wonderful. You can visually see the colours. I hate storage where you can't see what you stored away. Because guess what, guys? When you store it away, you don't use it. Mm -hmm. So I have a visual here. It's kept under my counter here. And it often sees the light of day when I'm um, doing my craft. I just pull it out and pick an appropriate colour. Now, you can see I haven't filled them all. I know what most of you are like. You're going to say, I need two, I need three. If you don't, there's got all, you've got a lot in here. And I've got my bigger gems in here as well. My, like, little um, colourful ones in here. I've got my sequins in here as well, and then I've got my sort of like Aurora Borealis gems as well. So having that visual is super easy. You can stack them, the lid goes on. They do sit on top of each other if you do want to get two, um, but the system is there. It's got the SBM logo on as well, which is quite cute because I know some of you like to have all stamps by me products. So that's your lovely storage system. If you that haven't got one of those... It's about to sell out, Tony. It's limited stock. I've never seen that before. Oh, God. Yeah, we ordered it back in for birthday, but like I say, we did do, we did do the pre-launch when birthday happened. We did the pre-launch the day before birthday, before I flew out to the States, so a lot of it had already sold, so well, well done if you did get that yeah, one. Yeah, we'd rather everyone at home Could I just show the punches, Dan, yes, please. before? Just in case. So if you are a little bit of an album maker, scrapbooker, and you do like the intricate t tags that pull out and the die-cut pieces and things like that, but you cannot be bothered, to get your die cutting machine out for one little tab die because I'm quite lazy with craft, so I do like quick access. So in this particular set that Dan's got on set there, I've got one of them here, and it's this sort of like tag detail here which you can pop on the top of photos, tags if you're going to pull them out of albums and things like that, open doors, clasps with magnets underneath. But I just want to show you how easy they are. The way that I like... They have a self-sharpening system on these as well. For that price, back in the day, you used to pay this for one yeah, 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 punch. Definitely. I remember it well. And then everybody got rid of them because we all had the die cuts. But these are core things that I have under my table here in my Stamps By Me studio. You can see I've got a tag punch here as well. Things that I use all the time, quick. I haven't got to turn my die cutting machine on, I'm fat. So I'll just show you how quickly they are to use. They, yours will come with a plastic uh, cover on here to catch the elements. I take mine off because I just want it to pop straight out. But you just pop your cardstock in and then you punch. It's so easy. I, you know all that I have a really rubbish right wrist, but the system is super, super easy. Look at this here. And then what you have when you bring your paper into play is you have a tag system. Now, maybe you're not crafting. Maybe you're using it just to um, do some, like, calling cards when you've got your A to Z, A to Z in your um, telephone guide or something like that. And so you're just extending what you would traditionally use in craft to your household items as well. So it's just a super quick and effective way that is never going to come out of your stash. It's always going to be there because you can absolutely um, do them so fast with speed without going through an 18-second die-cutting machine, having the capability to just punch them all through like so, and create lots of different um, tabs. Now, this one is the one that I've got with the small arch. There's a rounded corner one, and there's a different square type one as well. So you get all three um, in that system as well.
Love that, Tony. 937872 <laughs> to get a hold of all three, as you've heard. Uh, 1124 in the club. Now then, the embellishment stories that Tony was just showing you has now sold out. So thank you for heeding the advice. That's why we let you know about things like limited stock, so you can press check out and away you go. All right, got a quick email here from Kate. Thank you, Kate, talking about uh, the big world launch in front of us here, saying, just taking a break from the computer screen and catching a crafty hour. Thank you, Kate, for tuning in to us. Treating myself to the scoreboard bundle, a true bargain. I've used others in the past and always waste cardstock because I've got it wrong. And it will be perfect for making the wedding favour boxes that are on the cards. Absolutely. Love you all. Kate, that Kate, that is very, very sweet. Thank you ever so much. It's meant to last through birthday for a month. 25% of the stock has gone. Let me move this out of the way. 25% of the stock has gone. You get the score and cut tool that was just being referred to. Uh, if you want to get extra blades and scoring tools, you can do. They're also in stock of the twin pack. The, the die multi-tool as well with the brush and the retractable pick. And then also the box and the envelope tool. I love the fact you can make boxes with no scissors and no glue. Even the little self-securing mechanism. Maybe you want to punch a hole in them and then tie ribbon if you want to, of course you can. But the punch system allows you to do so without that if you want to. 20 pounds and 10 pence. That's on three flexi pays. Uh, 269645. Tony, very quickly, your happy hour is also limited stock. When I keep saying things are three pounds, this is one of those in the same transaction as the world launch tools from Tony. So you want to get hold of this die set, Three beautiful big stamps, and then you've got the two extras with a thank you and the all mine at the top. 520798. Even if there's one remaining in 10 minutes' time, it'll go up to £20. This show, right now, I know it's limited, 8 99 in total. It's on two flexes in its own right, but in the same transaction as the products behind me, that is then on three flex pays. 520798. Tony, we've got six minutes. What do you fancy? That's just not good enough. So sorry. Do you want to do a show later as well? I need more time. I'm going to do a quick envelope, but tonight, guys, obviously I have that fantastic paper collection and die and stamp set, so I'm back on tonight at 8 o'clock and I'll do some demos with that as well. It's really difficult to fit it all in, but it was really important to me today that I showed you in depth these tools because they are a game changer. We've changed a few little bits and pieces on it to make life a little bit easier for you as a card maker, a crafter, handmade project maker as well. So let's just do a quick envelope, right? So the system is exactly the same as the box system. On the right, we have our card sizes. So I've gone for, I've cut a piece of 12 by 12 down to 11 by 11, because that's what it's telling me to do. And it's saying go score on four and a half. So let's try. So let's pop it in. Now, these are your score lines here. And it says one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and it says score above as well, so you can't get it wrong. So if it says diagonal, you know, you need to be doing it at this side. If it says a score, then you need to go to this side, which is score. So the one that I'm making 11 by 11, it says score at four and a half. Okay, super easy. So I'll go to four and a half, and we'll punch, because we need to do our four and a half, and then I'm just going to do the, the line down. And across. So just follow that lovely line. It's so smooth. Turn it round, 90 degrees. Four. Oh, oh. about to make a big mistake there, Dan. Did you see that? I did. Back to four and a half. And that tool in your hand, it sort of clips underneath, does it not? So it, does, it is included. The what, sorry? The tool in your hand, the score tool you're using, that clips underneath, right? Yeah, it clicks underneath, so you're not going to lose it. Uh -huh. So I'm just making sure I haven't made a hash of this. So I've just popped that in there, scored it at four and a half. Then I twisted 90 degrees. And then punch and score. All the way across here. 90 degrees. I have, I've made a hash of it. I said it was that easy and I've gone and made a hash of it. Let me just see where I've made the mistake. You think I'm rushing you because I've said it's six minutes left? <laughs> the pressure is intense, let me tell you. Just wait oh, a minute, I have palpable. made a hash of it. You are sorry? It's palpable, the pressure. Absolutely. I've got one, I have got one already scored anyway, so I'll show that in a second. I just want to see why I did it wrong though, because I think it's important for our customers. So I'm going to score across here. Then I'm going to twist again. Oh, I know what I did now. 
I know what I did. So basically, if you sorry, can't really see the size on here. You will be able to see it at home. But I did an 11, 11 by 11 sheet at four and a half. And you saw me pop it in at four and a half here, which was down by this side here. And then, if I'd read my instructions or not panicked, if you bring in your envelope instruction, mm -hmm. let's do it step by step like I did with the box for you all. So again, trim the paper to the size. Well, I did that, didn't I? I did 11 by 11. Align the left to score line measurement and punch. Well, we knew that was four and a half because that's what I did here. Okay, score envelope, score line A, and then punch. And that's what I didn't do. So let me just pull out my bad one and show you here. So when you pop it in, this is one I've already done, but when you pop it in, watch what happens. Do it on the green side so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So when you pop it back in, can you see now you've got your triangle that goes in the centre there? Yeah. If that triangle doesn't go in there, don't click the don't click your punch because you're going to waste your paper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if it, that triangle from your score line doesn't go in there, you are not going to be with that perfect centre in there. So this is 11 by 11. Let me just fold this in half. Score it. Sorry. Oh, I made the right hash of that. That's the six-minute warning. I feel like I'm back on HSM with eight minutes to present myself, Dan. <laughs> you've heard, Tony, you've done very well. <laughs> Terrible. You must... when, did you, when did you land, like, yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. Ah, you do so well. Then a four-hour four, four hour drive home from London Gatwick, honestly. And then you just look at this, and then you just fold it in, and you have the most luxurious envelope. Now... What I like to do with some of mine, Dan, I'll look at this cute one in the vellum as well. Oh, I did yeah. one in the vellums from the set as well. But what I wanted to just show you very quickly is... Yeah? Very quickly. Now, you know, when... I will say as well, you've just seen me make a hash of that. When you get this board home, just do it on plain, the paper that you're not bothered about. Learn the system two or three times. Then when you're happy, you know exactly what you're doing. Do it on your best paper, OK? Do not waste your there best you paper. Go, I'm Tony. absolutely gutted I've just wasted that piece of my Christmas paper. But anyway, let me just show you something that I think is quite cu cute. You see how this one has a straight edge and this one has a pointy yeah. edge? All I did with this one to tidy it up a little bit, because I felt like the point was a little bit close to my line there, all you can do is... I'll just undo this, because hey, it's just... Hey, Tony, tape. Tony, guess what? Yep. We've got, ten, we've got yep. ten seconds. OK, is I just fold it in. She's folding it in. Back at 8 o'clock, right, Tony? I'll see you at 8 o'clock. Wave.